Hello, today we're going to do a short video of replacing the points and condenser with a ignition chip. As you can see here, to replace the points and condenser, a lot of the points and condensers are no longer available for a lot of mates and models of chainsaws. This is a very effective way to replace the points and condenser and it will last the lifetime of the saw. Lay the saw on the side, remove the three screws that holds the starter cover on. On certain other model chainsaws, it might be more than three, it could be four or five screws. Next, you want to remove the two screws that hold the ignition coil to the chainsaw body. You will lift the ignition coil up, and the coil wire that goes from the coil to the points is underneath the flywheel. And you can see here the wire that runs down from the ignition switch <clears throat> also goes to the points. Take a pair of side cutters and cut both wires. To strip the two ends, the one that came from the ignition switch down to the points, and the one on the ignition coil itself, you'll strip oh, back a little bit of the bare, bare wire showing. You'll take your ignition chip and you can cut the wire, it comes fairly long. Take the three wires and it comes with a wire nut in the kit and you want to wire nut them together. After the three wires have been wire nutted together, reinstall the ignition coil, the two screws holding it on there. screw closest to the flywheel, you'll mount the ignition chip on the coil itself there. Next you want to find the magnets on the flywheel and rotate the magnets until they come to the legs of the ignition coil here. And you'll gap them. Take a 10,000 shim card, stick in there between the ignition coil and the flywheel. You'll loosen your two screws holding your ignition coil. You'll push it in on the ignition coil to make sure it's snug and tight. Tighten down the two screws that hold the ignition coil and also the one in the front that holds the ignition coil and the ignition chip. Tighten it down securely. Remove your 10,000 shim card. Install your side cover and the screws that retain it. After the three bolts have been tightened down on the side cover, you're ready to start your chainsaw, choke it, pull it, starts and runs. If your saw does not start and run, you can verify the connections of the ignition switch, the ignition coil, and the ignition chip. Make sure to make all three wires are making good contact together. If you still have no spark, give us a call, send the chip back, and we'll be gladly to apply the price of the chip towards a brand new electronic ignition coil that will fit right on your O28 steel and work fine. I want to thank you for watching this short video of installing an ignition chip to replace the points and condenser on a steel O28 wood boss.